I have changed locations today. That's because I have company reviewing with me. Introduce yourself. I am Bracey. My YouTube channel is Mr. Bracey 100, and I'm an associate with Cluckin' Films, local independent small time filmmakers. So I chose something special today a Re Dong Chong movie. Because she's very attractive, and even if the movie sucks, you can just stare at her. Sadly, she's only in the movie for about five minutes, and I made a bad, bad decision. <laughs> So, from 1991, this is The Borrower. Review after the jump cut. Alright, so, uh, The Borrower. Uh, the Borrower is a movie that proves that uh, the legal system is not just messed up on our planet, but on other planets as well. Because uh, you have an alien criminal, and they decide the best thing to do with their aliens is to pass them off onto Earth. So their alien gets devolved into a human, gets tossed onto our planet to cause all kinds of mayhem, because apparently nobody gives a damn about Earth. And he runs into the most redneck rednecks ever. We got to put this in some context. Uh, living in the South, there are plenty of guys who hunt illegally from the roadside with spotlights and guns. But you know, even this is like you know '91, late '80s kind of thing. They should have at least had an El Camino. There, there's no pickup truck. Now, there's no where did they rack. plan on putting the deer? Although I give them big points for the silencer being a two-liter <laughs> Coke bottle taped to the end of the shotgun. That was awesome. All right, so. Uh, our alien is warned before he gets to Earth that the the primitive body you gotta be careful with it. If he gets damaged, it's not gonna you know heal up like their normal alien bodies do. Whatever the hell. So it basically it turns out the reason this is called borrower is because for some reason whenever he gets damaged his head blows up. He's gotta rip off his head. He takes new head, so he takes a head from like one of these rednecks. Every time he needs to get a new body, he just gets a new head. But for some reason, his body's actually changed too. I'm not sure why. But he's supposed to be the same person, same body with a new head. And they do it for a while. But it starts off with the head explodes, and then his head just pops off. And then he pulls the head off. <laughs> Then we get this scene. That's one of the scenes that really made it for me. I was, as soon as I saw the guy approach the dog, I was like, oh, please take the dog's head. Even though there's no reason to take the dog's head, he's probably thinking like, Hey, dog's heads look awesome. So he just takes oh, the friggin' dog's I head. I didn't for no want reason. the dog. As soon as you see the dog, you're like, no, take the dog head. No, I was take no, the dog head, no, and he no, didn't let me down. He took the dog's head and had an awesome scene that followed you, the You dog said head. you'd like this movie if he took the dog head, and he took the dog head. So you officially have head. to like the movie. I like now. the movie. <laughs>
Yeah, uh, one of the brilliant parts of this film, I mean, there's a lot of bad in this film, don't get us wrong. There's like so much going yeah. against this film. And yet it's remarkably charming because the director, John McNaughton, did something just ingenious. The film, you, you have to watch it because it's filled with these little background moments that don't necessarily mean anything to the film, but they're just awesome little spectacles. Like the 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 police chief calls his detectives in, and meanwhile he's looking outside the window and he's watching three cops get their ass kicked by a hooker who they're trying to uh, book in. And the, well, the film, I'm pretty sure is a guy in drag. Could could be. <laughs> he was very large for a woman. Beating up three cops at one time. Yeah. You wanted to see us, Captain? Yeah, got a homicide in the forest preserve. Throat slasher. I want you guys to take it. Sex crime? Ritual murder? Maybe. Anyway, it's hard to say. They not only slashed the throat, they uh, chopped off the head. Overall, uh, the movie's batshit insane. It gets the little things right, but misses the whole idea of a movie at some point. And, and yet, the things it does right uh, make it enjoyable enough to make this, uh, this B-list kind of turd movie uh, a lot of fun to watch for all the reasons that nobody wanted it to be watched for. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, no one thought like, oh, they're gonna love that we had a guy fall over in the background. Like, but that ends up being the only decent part of the movie. There's also this horrible subplot with Ray Dong Chong, who's in the movie for no goddamn reason. <laughs> other than a guy she shoots in the beginning of the movie is in the movie continuously, rapes a rookie cop that makes yeah. her remember a rape case that someone lied about. What the... Yeah, it, it's it's a weird subplot to give her a nemesis when she's already got to deal with an alien. And, and keep in mind, the director, John Naughton, has been involved with films like uh, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, The Harvest, Mad Dog and Glory, uh, Normal Life. Arguably, a lot of really good films, so that makes it even more interesting. And he also did Wild Things. Wild Things. How does you go from Henry to... Portrait of a serial killer. Well, how do you go from borrower this movie wild to wild things? Like he started with Henry, goes to this. Fine, you you're into crazy shit. Then you go to a fucking lesbian tri killer weird ass movie. I think I'm gonna call it the Peter Jackson effect because if you're familiar yeah, with Peter Jackson, did, I've like, already reviewed bad before. taste in films yeah. like that. And next thing you know, he's doing Lord of the Rings. How does that happen? <laughs> Guy covered in gore from a fucking chainsaw, <laughs> and then he does Lord of the Rings. Not even that. He was actually one of the stars of Bad Taste. Uh, thank you for watching, <laughs> and as always, she'll try to do better <laughs> next time. I'll edit some weird-ass scene into the end of this. Come in. Come back in 15 minutes, nurse. Uh, let us know again your YouTube channel. I'll link it's, it uh, there. it's Mr. Bracey 100, obviously, all together. Um, I work with a local film company called Cluckin' Films, and you can also find their channel, Original Cluckin' Films. That's with a K. Cluckin' with a K. No G. Cluckin'. All that Films. stuff will be. Yeah. Link down in the description does a bunch of little short films and some longer stuff, and it's much better than anything I can pull <laughs> off. Uh, I'm sitting here with a solo webcam on my couch, editing shit together on Windows Media Player, so, movie makers, so, thank you for watching, goodbye.